The New York Institute of Technology recently hosted an international craft fair for an organization that helps craftsmen in dozens of countries earn a living. Rachel Andre reports. This lobby on the old Westbury campus at the New York Institute of Technology was transformed into an international hotspot. Items from all around the globe were sold to raise money for third world artists. Diversity celebration and art awareness play a vital role at the Office of International Affairs, and its assistant director shared her thoughts on this community effort. Well, it serves both purposes. Uh, we are trying to support third world artisans in countries throughout the world where they are being offered a fair trade, um, that they are given money upfront for their uh, artwork, and they are guaranteed then a living and being able to sustain uh, themselves. 10,000 Villages is the organization that supports this project and provides materials to artisans. It says it's one of the world's largest fair trade organizations and international students are getting involved in the cause to support their heritage. Yeah, I think that what is, what's happening is like really good because um, like uh, they're helping the underdeveloped countries and then like out there like especially in our countries like the poverty rate is like really low and all that and by doing this at least they're getting some income. Every item on sale is handcrafted and custom painted, then sold to provide a living wage for its creator. The items are fairly priced to cover the cost of labor and materials. This is my third year coming to this particular sale, and I think it's a really wonderful cause to support because there are uh, a lot of reasons that our university, being very international and global, uh, want to make sure that we're part of that universe. And uh, this particular cause is one that, that speaks volumes because it, it involves all different kinds of cultures and all different kinds of, of areas that are impoverished. This handcrafted nativity scene is just one of the many items made by international artists and is said to be made of olive wood. The, uh, the beauty of what's been made by the wonderful artisans from around the world. My wife collects hippopotamuses and I just noticed this lovely piece handmade in Kenya. I can't imagine anything that she'd enjoy more. And it's a blessing just to look around and see all these wonderful pieces of work. In Old Westbury, Rachel Andre, LI News Tonight.